You're probably confused because when you see the word ranking when it comes to films, you normally think, oh, there has to be at least three, and Space Jam A New Legacy is the long-awaited sequel to Space Jam. So, that's only two. But no, you're gonna find out that there is three films in this universe, so let's go ahead and rank them. Coming in at third place is Looney Tunes Back in Action. I'm gonna be honest with you, I had no idea this was considered a follow-up to Space Jam because I didn't actually intend to make this video. It's only two days ago that I watched Space Jam and on IMDb, if you scroll down to where it normally has like some suggested films, on films that are in a franchise, first ones that pop up underneath followed by or follows, as in if the film comes before or after it, it has the films in that franchise that come after, if that makes sense. Before Space Jam A New Legacy, it had Looney Tunes back in action, so I was like, oh. I did some more research on it, and apparently this was intended to be that sequel, but then they couldn't get Michael Jordan on, and then suddenly, before you know it, the whole plot changed, and apparently they just went ahead and shot it without telling the actors it wasn't going to be a Space Jam movie anymore. But I can see why it can be considered one, as it has a lot of familiar tropes. Those tropes, of course, being the Looney Tunes mixed with humans in the real world, and I must say, there are a lot more Looney Tune moments in this film, and frankly, I actually think some of them are more enjoyable than Space Jam. The animation for it is a fair bit better, as you'd expect, so that allows for more physical humour with the Looney Tunes, which is, if you've seen the cartoons or the animated show, you can tell that's what a lot of them feed off of for their humour. So it allows for more interactions with the humans, which as I said, made for a more enjoyable time, but it's still not that good of a film. I know you're not meant to factor in plots, when it comes to these films, I mean just all you have to do is read the synopsis for all of them and you can see why But this one just felt like it's not the right way to go You know the other ones are fun this one I can get you can have fun with it But this whole spy plotline just doesn't really feel like it's something that we enjoyed as it's quite cliche and not as wacky I know in a lot of things especially kids films made at this time There were some adult humor in there hidden subtle that only adults would get but here there is that but there were just references that kids won't get. So I watched it when I was younger. I remembered it not being that great. Rewatching it now, I'm like, how are they gonna know about that? Because majority of people watching it are going to be young and below the age rating of the films that they're referencing. So it just feels a bit weird and it relies heavily on the pop cultural references, which just distract from Looney Tunes. And like, even if it is the Looney Tune characters delivering those references it just it becomes more of like a a scary movie type where they just parody stuff like especially when Bugs Bunny pulls out like a bloody lightsaber it just differs too much from the usual slapstick gags which everyone enjoys coming in at second place is Space Jam a new legacy now look I've seen some reviews and it's only early doors you know it's the first day as we're filming that this film has come out but I'm seeing some people say this is like an absolute disgrace of a film. I think as of recording it has a 3.7 on IMDb with a couple of thousand votes. This might be controversial, who knows, in time this might just be what everyone feels, but I kind of enjoyed it, yes. I know you'd expect me to enjoy it more, but it is a bit disappointing as it takes like 40 minutes for the Looney Tune characters to even show up, let alone speak. That was a really disappointing aspect. This film's an hour and 55 minutes and it takes 40 for the main event, I guess you could say, because it's more of a LeBron James story and it's kind of hard to follow him as, obviously he's a basketball player and therefore not a good actor. So the only thing keeping you engaged with him is that he's this big superstar that everyone knows. On a more positive side, Don Cheadle, he's, he's very enjoyable in this film. He's super enthusiastic over the top and that's what you need to do in a film like this whereas LeBron James just was very dull. Of course the Looney Tunes are fantastic whenever they do show up on screen but as I mentioned it takes quite a while so the second half of the movie which is to be honest pretty much devoted to this game like the game goes on for quite a while especially compared to the original. When they got allowed to do their Looney Tunes stuff they it was just 
<laughs> a fun watch. Other than that though, there was some disappointing aspects. Yes, it did allow for great Looney Tunes moments, but I didn't like the whole thing about how it wasn't a proper game of basketball in the sense that any scoring was allowed, as in you could do a couple of trick shots and then that'll be like 200 points where compared to like just a normal three pointer that makes a basketball game in a film more tense when you know there's only one way you can do it not like with a certain team is losing by 60 points and if they do a good trick shot then you know they get 61 or whatever so I found that take away the magic but I, from what I've seen so far obviously this film doesn't live up to its predecessor but it's still quite enjoyable and in my opinion getting more hate than it deserves but to no one's surprise, coming in at first place is Space Jam. On paper, this is such a bad concept, it seems, but just the way it's executed and the sheer love for these characters is just... It makes it such an enjoyable ride. It's like the Fast and Furious movies, not Fast and Furious 9, I hate that one, where some of the ideas are so crazy and on paper bad, but just the way it's done, it's just fun and you can't criticize fun can you it's certainly a unique experience and i might get some hate for saying this but i didn't actually grow up with this film you know this was my first time watching it yes it was made before i was born but i even still i could have watched it growing up and i don't think i did and if if i did i don't remember any of it so this was a first time experience for me so i don't hold that nostalgia but like a lot of people i'd watch looney tunes when i was younger so that was nostalgia enough for me because it's the first time i've seen them in a film or anything for many years it is super wacky and even though it's like as i said technically bad that michael jordan seems like he has no soul while talking to clearly fake computer generated Looney Tunes characters when you know in reality he's talking to no one in that room it's enjoyable you know you look at that scene and if you're a real critic you'll be like oh this is horrible but it's just it's enjoyable <laughs> obviously I'm looking past a lot of negatives because they just factor into the enjoyment of this film so it's never gonna get like a, a 9 out of 10 rating from me but if I did have to criticize something which was something that could be changed was there wasn't that much build-up to the game you know in these films when there's like the underdog story which is this team of Looney Tunes characters there's like the montage at least or a big build-up to when the big event happens but here it kind of just like goes along with the story normally and then bam we're into the game and I I had to quickly look at the how much longer was left because like oh that, that was a drastic change but other than that a really enjoyable film and I r completely understand where the nostalgia and love comes from. So now that you know that there's three Space Jam movies let me know what yours are down below if you actually have seen that Looney Tunes back in action movie. Could you please like and subscribe as well I'd really appreciate that and if you want to see my last video which for me was filmed about 10 minutes ago but for you should have been uploaded the day before there'll be a clickable card up in the corner here for you to check out. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.